welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Sean, and in this video, I will be covering a Doom Patrol, Doom Patrol topic. See, Doom Patrol are a bunch of DC characters, the DC characters, like I said, DC heroes, and they already have their own show, Doom Patrol. Season 1 is, the whole season's done now. It's really good. Like, Doom Patrol is fucking amazing. I really recommend it. It's also in the same universe as Titans. Titans is okay, you know, it's just, they could have done better, but Doom Patrol is better. Doom Patrol is amazing, so yeah. But today, in this video, I'm going to give you... I'm going to tell you who is Mr. Nobody. Mr. Nobody is the main villain of Doom Patrol Season 1. He was the main villain of Doom Patrol Season 1. One of the Doom Patrol villains. So yeah, I didn't do a history of Doom Patrol because Doom Patrol started. The show started when I took my break. So I couldn't really, you know, like... The first episode pretty much tells you who the Doom Patrol are. So yeah. But uh, Mr. Nobody, I'm going to give you his origin and who he is. And like, how he is in the comics and stuff like that. And this will be a short video, because there's not much to do, Mr. Nobody, so it will be this video will be quick, so yeah. So without further ado, let's get into it. Mr. Nobody's real name is Eric Mordred, and he first appeared in Doom Patrol issue 86 in March 1964. And um, he was just known as uh, Dr. Morden, Mr. Morden, whatever. He was just some scientist, really, like, not much. And then he was gone for 25 years. I'm not kidding, like, 25 years he's been gone. It wasn't until um, Grant Morrison brought him back in Doom Patrol Volume 2, Issue 26, in September 1989, I believe. So, yeah. And turns out um, Eric Morden has been hiding. He's been in hiding all these years because... He was hiding from the former members of the Brotherhood of Evil because they said that they promised they would kill him if they ever see his face, so yeah. He got really tired and bored of his isolations and wants to have his life back, so he decided to do he decided to um as to do these ex exper these experiments with Nazi scientists. Uh obviously, um to change his appearance, obviously. So yeah. And and he did this obviously, like I said, to return his life. And we all know how this turns out. Like this is comics. The, Especially with supervillains, experiments don't go well. So, it did went wrong. It didn't work. However, it did change his appearance, not the way how he intended. Obviously, as you can see, as you look, like, like obviously, he's, half of his face is gone. It's like this crossroad puzzle thing. Whatever the fuck that thing is. And he has, like, a big chest, a hard chest in there. So, yeah. He obviously got powers, and um, over throughout the years, he went, he went crazy. He went insane and became, like, a regular supervillain. And he went through these changes, while he was going through these changes with his powers and all that, he took the name Mr. Nobody, and he formed his own team of supervillains, which a bunch of, it's a bunch of ridiculous villains, villains that don't make sense. I think that was the point of this by Grant Morrison, because, like, Mr. Nobody, I think he wasn't meant to make sense. So, yeah. In the show Doom Patrol, Mr. Nobody is very different, I believe, like, He's way more powerful in the show, I in more than in the comics. Yeah, he's got a lot. He he has a lot of powers, and we do go through that. And um, obviously, if he's like I said, very fucking powerful, and he's a great villain, I believe. And he he breaks the fourth wall in the Doom Patrol show. He breaks the fourth wall. He knows he's a fictional character. He makes fun of all this DC Universe streaming service, which is what Doom Patrol's on, and all that stuff. Which is funny, you know. He made a lot of references and stuff. In the show Doom Patrol, Alan Turtkin is playing Mr. Nobody, which is a pretty cool, good cast, so yeah. But back to uh, Mr. Nobody, comic Mr. Nobody. He went on some crazy adventures over the years and stuff like that, but he never really accomplished anything important, like anything significant, nothing really, so yeah. The team changes over the years, but uh, Mr. Nobody's always like there, either to fight the Doom Patrol or, f or lead his team, like I said, so yeah. And uh, one time he actually got stuck in a painting and that painting got destroyed with him in it. However, this is comics. Mr. Nobody got out, obviously. No one stays dead. So he got out and... But his look changed. He Before he, he was obviously, he looked black. Then when he got out, he changed and, and, and he was white. And then he became Mr. Somebody. I'm not joking. Like, Mr. Nobody, the Mr. Somebody, like... Comics are fucking weird, bro. <laughs> For um, Mr. Nobody's powers, well, his powers is that he can drain sanity from someone. He can drain their sanity, make them go crazy and stuff. And he can find uh, lost things, things that are lost. And he, or, or he can also find other objects that belong to nobody. Get it? Because, like, those objects belong to nobody. So they kind of belong to Mr. Nobody. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a joke. It's, it's a fucking dumb joke. Anyway... For the show, Mr. Nobody, the show Mr. Nobody is way more powerful. Like, he, he can able to open a black 
hole, a black portal thing in the in the middle of a town, a, like a black hole, and he can torment each of the members of the Doom Patrol and stuff like that. And like I said, he can break the fourth wall, and he can do many things. He's very powerful. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Pretty much, I told you everything I need you need to know. And I'm sorry if that was short, but like you know. There you, there's your knowledge of Mr. Nobody. So anyway guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please subscribe, please hit the bell to get a new notification video. Comment down below if you love Doom Patrol. I did, it was amazing. Uh, please like, share this with your friends and family. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.